and welcome along. Today we are taking a look at a uh, first look at Tazewell County, Illinois. This is a map by Flatlander84 uh, and it's only available uh, for PC and Mac. Uh, it's available by the mod uh, by the mod hub. Um, the reason why this is uh, not a console map uh, straight from the get go is this is a four times map, so this is larger than. Uh, the consoles can handle normally, which, which immediately excludes it. Uh, but it looks like a very interesting PC map. A very, very interesting PC map. Looking at this, which is uh, where you spawn in. Uh, right in front of a big map of everything that we're going to look at today. So we can plan our route. I think we are, we are at number five at the moment. Uh, which is home. Yeah, you are here. Uh, so we, I think we'll work our way sort of 5, 2, 7, 8, 1, 6, 3, 4, and then back round Allentown Road and Springfield Road back to here. Uh, I think is our best bet. So for now, let's go and have a quick look around our yard because now normally I don't have a look around the yard, but this yard is incredibly interesting. Uh, we have uh, lots of vehicles and lots of stuff here. I'm, I'm loving the array of machinery you start with. And we, of course, will go through this at the end, as we normally do. But I love things like this. So we've got the case halfway out of the shed already, ready to go and do some work. It's as if everybody disappeared in the middle of, uh, of needing to do, you know, in the middle of doing something on this farm. And it's just been left to us. Uh, with everybody having disappeared. Uh, over here, we have the pigs. Now, as we have animated pigs in here already, and a few static ones, uh, I'm guessing that you start this map with animals, uh, which would be fantastic. I love maps that start you with some animals. It gets you right into the game, off the, straight off the get-go. Uh, and this is one of those maps as well that appears has all the animals in a very clustered place. So again, another reason why it wouldn't do so well on console. This is very processor heavy, having all the animals in one place like this. But it's quite cool to see. And again, we've got animated cows, so it looks like you start with some cows as well. Now the interesting, the other interesting thing, and the, the bit I saying about the uh <laughs> it looks like everybody just disappeared is this this is quite cool so you got your truck on the here on the bale trailer and you've got half unloaded bales with the case that is fantastic if we're setting this up for a let's play i would have to get all these unloaded and everything before i could even start but it really is it really feels like you're coming into it part way through uh Things like uh, feed mixers and things like that in the yard. Looks like a seed master, which I've still never used. Uh, which, yeah, looks interesting. Ah, it's a pig food mixer. Is that a pig? Oh, that's a pig food mixer. That's pretty cool. I don't know where the sheep are around here. If we bring up the map, the sheep aren't here. I don't think. I'm not sure where the sheep are, actually. That would be interesting. So, let's go jump in our jeep. So, very interesting farmyard. I'm, I'm very impressed by that. But we're going to jump in the jeep here, which I've made a small modification to because I've, uh, I'm tired of driving around without the VF logo on the back of it. So, uh, yeah, we have the Jeep with the yeah, logo on on this map. And, uh, yeah, we're going away we go. So I haven't really looked around this map other than to get the Jeep in, which is where I discovered the yard. Oh, we've got a nice workshop and a, a pressure washer there as well. That's pretty cool to start with. So let's head out, and we're going to head north of here. I'm sure we will stumble across the Sheep as we... As we move around the map. I'm hoping so. Because I don't exactly know where they are. I'm loving the distance on this. 
Because the edge of the map, I think, is basically just the other side of that ditch. So it's the distances on this map have been done really nicely. Yeah, so if I turn into this farm here, I don't know if I can actually get into it. No, there you go. So the edge of the map really is that ditch. I like that. That that works very well and is is wonderfully doesn't pull you out of the map. Which so often happens. You get to the edge of a map and it just you can see the edge of the map. This very much has been built with wide open space because it feels very much an American map. Uh, with the, with you know with your your large wide spaces, and yet. You can't see the edge. I mean, look at that that distance there. That's amazing. So, kudos to that. You know, there's nothing that pulls me out of this map. Um, Flatlander has done a, a fantastic job of that. Yeah, everything to our left at the moment is, uh, is the edge of the map. And you can't see it. Uh, we own Field 4, which is back there. We, uh, field 11, not not Field 11 here, but the other side of Field 11, Field 3 and Field 5, which is at the end here, we own. We start off owning. Yeah, this, this feels really cool. Uh, we have what appears to be a seed purchase point. Yes. So that is, this is a point for purchasing seed. Again, we can't go much further up here, I don't think. Yeah, there we go. We can't go any further up there. But yeah, this here is a seed purchase point. That's the local church. In there. Now with the graveyard. So, oh, there we go. Field 12. Oh no, I can't stop in time. Let's, uh, we will go and find a field in a minute. We need something that's a fairly decent size. Have we got anything that's, yeah. Oh, this is a, this is awesome, this map. I know, I know I say that about a lot of maps I review, but this is just absolutely gorgeous a proper wide open yeah incredible American map this right so we have a field for sale you see that's whoa wow good to see the cars stop weight limit. So we're heading down here. Field 21 we should have been able to have purchased back there. I didn't want, quite want to go down here yet. I'm looking for the purchase board because which I can't see anywhere. Oh no, hang on, it's on this side. There it is. So interestingly, the fields are big and broken up. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so there's a map in uh, FS15 that I loved, uh, which is Southwest Norway. Anybody who's, who's been on my channel a little while will have heard me talk about this map. Fantastic map. What it did was it sold farms rather than fields. And it appears that that is exactly what this map does. So 21 isn't a field. It's a section of farmland. You have... Um, let's have a look. at Let's enlarge this and have a look. So 21 has... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fields in it. So you buy a section of farmland. You basically buy... That's really cool. I really love that idea. Oh, 
And while we're here then, how much? Because they're, they're not too bad for... This is sort of a mid size patch. Uh, it's good prices as well. That's good price for uh, that sort of size of farmland. And it has missions on it. I'm I this is an impressive map. This really is. I love the ideas behind this. It works exceptionally well. Right, we must be uh yeah, we wanna go strong. Oh wow, I'm I'm blown away by this. This is this is really awesome piece of map making right here. The, the most interesting maps in Farm Sim always take what is available and then go and do something a little bit further with it. And this is one of those maps. This is one of those maps that goes what else can I do with this? And as a result it's, it's creating something incredible. Right, so this here appears to be the shop. I think. If we pull in. Yeah, this is the shop. So, uh, sell point and workshop. And over here must be somewhere. Oh, it looks like we don't have a purchase point. I'm guessing it's kind of an order online uh, type of thing so it spawns here but you have to go through the shop screen by pressing P to do it which is is a good idea you know if you've got no actual shop I like that idea that you basically have to ring up or or do that now the animal market is over that way so we want to turn down this next one I think yep yeah, we're turning here Oh, this is this is cool. That's a very raised, a very very raised concrete road. I wouldn't like to pull off the side of that. That's going to be fun to get an Arc Arctic lorry down that, I think. But uh, yeah, this is our animal market. So uh, where do we fill up with animals? I'm guessing. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. So back into here. Oh, oh, again, something interesting being done. This is a purchase point for cows only. I didn't know that on a map you can do that. So this is pigs. Ah, now there's something interesting. So this is the animal purchase and sale point. There are no sheep. I think this map lacks sheep. I don't think you have sheep here. Which is an interesting idea. I'm not always for when you when you remove an option like that. Yeah, I d I'm not I'm not so sure about that. I would quite like to have still seen sheep on here. I don't know how realistic it is for the area of the United States that this map is based. But, uh, yeah. And it's, it is... I do like that you pick up cows at one part of there. And pigs at the other. So that is the edge of the map over there. You can't go any further than that. Uh, we want to cut back anyway. Oh, we want to avoid the other traffic. Then we want to take the next left, I think. If we head up here, where is our turning? I think that's what we want, because our next point of interest, I believe, is about the other side of this field here. Oh, let's get on the correct side of the road. This is spectacular. This really is. It's just so wide and open. And I'm 
blown away by it. Right, so that's that's another church. Wow, there's a lot of churches around here. I thought, ah, what's this? Blair's Farm and Fleet. What have we got in here? I remember from our map in the barn that there should be something of interest down this way. This looks like it's got lots of seed masters in it. Oop, and a very big drop off there. There's certainly something here. If I bring up the big map, let's have a look. Well, I thought initially we did have something marked on the map here, but it doesn't seem to be appearing. So I don't quite know what that is. There's certainly some sort of functionality to it. But it's not something that's marked on the map other than if we go back to the, uh, the main barn. So we might just have a quick review of that on the main barn when we come to the end, when we come to look through what equipment we have. This is just... Oh, I'm, I'm waxing lyrical about this map simply because it's, it is the most American map I've seen come out for farm sims so far. The, 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 just this wide open Midwestern uh, farming is just, yeah. So we've got the dairy around here. So I'm guessing as we have a dairy... And we have a cell point at it. That we must have milk sales disabled on this map as default. It certainly appears to be where we are. I cannot see. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can cut through here. Which is quite cool. I don't know if you need the disabled milk, sa disabled milk sales um, bit from Ma uh, Maru, but uh, certainly there is a sell point here somewhere that I can't see at the moment. No. I think I think that would be a possible thing that I would. Uh, I would say about this map. I'm finding it quite difficult to find certain aspects of it. And I do like I do quite like it in the map where I can just come in and go, bam, there we go. You know, I can see the cell point. And then I mean to me there there was nothing marked. Uh, which just makes things that little bit harder. out this way and we want to take the next oh wow the field boundaries of course their field boundaries not roads on the map so that is a little bit uh, confusing but yeah that's just see for miles and there's nothing uninteresting anywhere nothing Farm. So there's all these little farms and things you can use all over the place. Right, we are going to head along the road here. Because we have cell points in the bottom corner. In fact, I would be willing to put good money down that that is one of the cell points. Now we are having a small piece of, a uh, small problem that we always have with four times maps. In, in, is that and that is just getting around it in the time we have. Uh, so head up and over. So that is okay. So that is a, a freeway going through that. No idea if you can actually get on it. No, 
Now, what is this building here? See, I'm wondering if I've got something turned off on my uh, screen. Let's have a look. No, I don't have anything turned off. So there is, again, this is something, but I'm not 100% sure exactly what. This is, this is one of those additional functions that exists on the map. We will, we will go and review the big map at the end that's in the barn. I kind of wish that, that these markers, that this key had been on the map. Uh, sorry, on uh, this map. I think it would have been really useful to have had that there. Right, so this is a cell point. This is our entry. Uh, this is the one that has all the notes on it. So, pit one sweet soybeans and corn. So, no mention of barley or, or anything like that. You know, there's lots of, of crops that appear to be missing. But yeah, certainly a large sell point in this one. Now we've got more sell points around here. There we go. So what's this? So wheat, soybean. Ah, okay. Wow. Yeah, it seems to only take three. That's really interesting. I wonder I wonder if you can actually sell. I think at the end of this we will review exactly what you can sell as well. Because it looks like there's Looks like a lot of the standard functionality doesn't exist on this map. So, to me, that, that suggests you can't sell barley, you can't sell... I've not seen anywhere to sell potatoes or, or sugar beets or, you know, sunflowers doesn't seem to be anything you can sell on here. So we need, to, we need to review that, we need to check that those things can, whether those things can or can't be sold. Uh, I mean, I... I if, if that's the reality of this location, I don't fault the map maker for, for wanting to make it as realistic as possible. Um, but again, as I, as I said with sheep, I'm, I don't always like to see that possibility removed. You know, it, it, one of the great things about Farm Sim is that you can play it as realistically or as unrealistically as you like and I think removing the options unfortunately takes away some of that for it right so we are heading back towards the town we yeah this is where we drove in so we need to head back this way now there aren't any cell points there wasn't anything marked on the map this way we are just exploring the map via the roads at the moment. And we're not getting anywhere near the map boundary here. It does, it does look gorgeous. I will say that for this map. It does look absolutely amazing. I don't know where I'm going to take the picture from now. I've, I've seen about 20 or 30 places where I've just gone, wow. Although, yes, I do, because I know how I'm doing my thumbnails these days for these. Uh, it'll be of the art, as uh, as I do for um, for first looks now. I don't know where I would take it if I was taking it just of, uh, of the Jeep and this. This is just absolutely superb. Making a fantastic multiplayer map, this. 
I knew you'd have multiple huge combines. A multiplayer map or a, a map that you manage with course play a lot, I think, would do well on this as well. But yeah. The fields are not huge. The fields are a good manageable size for large machinery. So I think it's going to be interesting to see what machinery we have got on this map. Uh, but the detail is beautiful. I've not seen any forestry. Lots of trees about the map, but no sort of dedicated forestry area. And I, and I haven't, in all honesty, I have not seen anywhere that would be... Yeah, there's nowhere really on the map that would count as that. And it, I'm not overly surprised considering where the map is set. Main road running through the middle. It'd be interesting to see how the traffic uh, works on here. There we go. Now our farm is back up this way here, so we will be there momentarily. I think we're going to have a lot of equipment to go through by the looks of things. So this may be a slightly longer first look than normal. Uh, for that reason, because we have so much to cover. We have, in the broadest sense, covered the map. We've been in a big circle. Uh, I am very impressed by it. A uh, couple of niggles that I that I don't think would uh, would stop me enjoying the map. I think this was seasons would be awesome. Six day seasons or nine day seasons. Right, we'll jump out. And we'll head back to the map. We'll have a quick look at the map. And then we will uh, then we'll go from there. So what was it that we were trying to get to? So one is ah it's pig food is there. Seven and eight are the store in the stockyard. Yeah, we knew about that. Three was the other one. Fertilizer. Oh, so I was wrong about that. Uh, six is the dairy. Yeah, four is the uh, sell point for corn, soy and wheat. So yeah, the sell points are severely restricted. And if we have a look at what you can sell. Yeah, there you go. So you've got three sell points. Uh, you've got wheat, soybeans, and corn. And that is it. So no selling of bales, no selling of of, of anything else. No uh, sheep on here. Uh, you do start with... Here we go. So yeah, definitely no sheep. Sheep just do not exist on this map. Uh, cows, uh, you start with 25, and pigs, you start with 50. So that's pretty cool. In from the get-go, the cows you're going to need to feed fairly early on starting this map. And I like that everything doesn't start fully fed. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's have a look at the equipment that you have. So in our garage, we've got a case uh, 1455 XL uh, and a Magnum CVX uh, case as well. Uh, only two tractors. Wow, that is not what I expected. Um, FZ30 front loader with a bale spike. Uh, yeah, only two. Wow. Uh, the JCB 260 skid steer with a shovel and a manure fork. Uh, the TX415 barrel core lizard. The case axle flow. Um, that, to me, is an obscenely small combine to start this map with. I would want something much bigger. Um, and then you've got the Quasar F4 and the 14-foot header uh, that go with it. Uh, you've got the Farm Tech trailer. You've got the, the large Flegel trailer as well, Tipper. Uh, you've got the uh, Batistad Carrier uh, Cultivator, the XL. 825, uh, the Vatasad Tempo F8, uh, which is a cedar, which only does, oh, hang on, uh, yeah, which only does, uh, it does sunflower, soybeans, corn, and sugar beet. So you can only do soybeans and corn on this map from that. Um, uh, you've got the Stillus 460, 
sprayer, uh, the Joskin Modulo uh, Slurry Spreader, the Tornado, the Joskin Tornado Three Muck Spreader. Uh, you've got a Weeder, which is nice to see. You don't often see Weeders uh, as default in this game. Uh, you've got the New Holland Discbine Mower, which is a very nice trailed mower. Uh, the Lady Lotus 1250 Profi Tedder. The Kuhn GA uh, 9531 Wind Rower. Uh, the Lely Tygo XR75D Forage Wagon. Uh, the Flegel DPW80 uh, Bale Trailer, the New Holland Big Baler, I probably swapped that out actually for the American delivery if I was going to use that. Uh, the Metal Tech PP20 uh, Overloader, uh, Auger Wagon, uh, Chaser Bin, yeah. Uh, the Lizard Pickup TT, uh, the Joskin Aqua Tra Trans 7300S. Uh, the Kuhn Primal 15070 uh, uh, Strawbler, Cartridge Pressure Washer, and that is it. Uh, you also, of course, appear to get the uh, Workshop, but it doesn't seem to be sellable by the looks of this. Do you have anything leased? No, nothing leased. So, uh, wow, I would probably add another tractor or two to this, and I would certainly upgrade the Combine, I think, if I was doing it. Uh, it's yeah, that's quite not quite as much machinery as I'd expect. So yeah, that's that's our case, and that's and that's our other case, and that's it for the tractors. I'm amazed by that. That's a lot less equipment than I thought we were going to have. Yeah, wow. Uh, so yeah, there we go. I like this map a lot. Uh, it's different. Uh, I'm not sure about the restrictions on the uh, the default stuff that's been removed. Uh, but I think I would have to play it. I think it's going to be very realistic to the area where it exists. Uh, as a result. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I think that is where I'm going to leave it. You can download this map from the Mud Hub. It is Townswell County, Illinois, uh, by Flatlander84. Uh, it is available on the Mud Hub either from Giant's website or the in-game Mod Hub for PC and Mac. Um, and uh, yeah, I recommend it. I think it would be a very interesting, very different map to play. So that's it from me. All that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this first look. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.